Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. My name is Hernan and we're here at QNAP and we have some great exciting news for you. Okay, we're going to talk about the all new NAS. This is the, um, the QNAP NAS book. As you can see here, it's small. It's the uh, M2 SSD NAS. You can see how small it is here. It fits, fits in my hand. It's portable. It's light. It's an amazing product. We're going to talk about um, the product itself. We're going to talk about the hardware and um, some of the specs. Okay, so uh, I'm here with Ivan Sue, and Ivan's going to talk to us a little bit about this unit. And um, Ivan, let's start. Uh, let's start with the interface here. What what is this here? Okay, uh, right here we have a multiple Ethernet port. Actually, you can connect uh, two of the Ethernet port to the network, and another three of those uh, you can connect to additional PC. Oh, awesome. So, so this one would go to the internet and then the others would go out to your, your network, your uh, switch? Another one of the four can connect to another separate network. Okay. And the other three, then you can, you can connect to multiple PC. So it creates an uh, easy to share environment uh, on, your, on your work group. Got it. And how about these, uh, these little ports here? Right. Uh, right here we have a two uh, microphone in. Uh, it actually support very interesting like uh, audio mm -hmm. music application, nice. which we can introduce later. And one of that is audio out. Then you can connect to our like external speaker. You can have a very oh, wow. very impressive um, audio effect. Okay, fantastic, awesome. Um, what else do we have here? We have um, I think with some USBs and some HDMI. Tell us a little bit about that. Evan. Okay, uh, we support USB 3.0, so uh, the transfer speed will be very fast. And also, uh, you can connect to multiple different applications, such as a USB camera for video surveillance, or you can connect to UPS or some other, uh, for example, we also support USB uh, expansion in Kojo. You can connect to an, uh, another one, like a 5-bay or 8-bay uh, JIPA, we call it just a bunch of disks that device. Just a bunch of disks. Now, how about these, these um Little what's it, uh, HDMI ports? Yeah, uh, HDMI port actually also give you uh, give the user a very interesting application. We have a, a very popular application we call the HD station. Mm -hmm. Actually, HD station not only uh, display, it's also carry a lot of different uh, video playing or browser different kind of uh, uh, display application. So uh, imagine this is not only a storage device. It can also be a media player. You can also turn it to a karaoke, for example, for home uh, multimedia application. You can browse the internet, and some of the uh, uh, useful application, you can also use that. And uh, another application uh, we call the QVPC. Mm -hmm. Actually, the NAS can also run as like a PC. You can use a, like a Linux station, you can also run with Windows virtual machine on the same device. Nice. So when you carry this, not only a centralized storage, it can also be a portable so, PC device. So what you're saying is I can connect I can connect the HDMI to my monitor. Yeah. And then I would connect using the USBs, my keyboard and my mouse to use it as a standalone system. Exactly. You can either use the MCE remote control or you you can either use uh, like a mouse, keyboard, mm -hmm. yeah. Great, and tell us a little bit more about the hardware, as you can see here, um, we have some RAM, and these are the um, the 2.0 disc we have here, looking at here, so can you tell us a bit more about these? Yeah, let, let's uh, start from the RAM. The RAM support, actually there are two uh, soldiers, so each of the slot you can connect to uh, four gigabytes, so overall we claim the system can support up to eight gigabytes, mm -hmm. and here is a pretty new uh, new standard we call the M.2 SSD. It's uh, a little bit different from the uh, like a two and a half or three and a half inches uh, hard drive. This uh, M.2 SSD actually uh, you can see the size is pretty compact. Right now the mainstream is uh, about right now the mainstream is about like uh, two hundred fifty six. Mm -hmm. But right now on the uh, on the market uh, is a. Uh, it support up to uh, 512 megabyte, mm -hmm. so you can make a way by because it support totally four stick. Right. Yeah. So oh, nice. it's a pretty compact and uh, uh, SSD. You can assume uh, the performance is pretty good, mm -hmm. as good as the regular two and a half inch, uh, inches uh, hard drive. Good. Fantastic. And this you know, the RAM. Uh, RAM is a soldier, as we mm -hmm. mentioned. So right now the system perform, uh, system RAM can reach out, uh, reach up to eight gigabyte. 
Okay. It's pretty plenty for you to run virtual machine to do the high speed uh, file sharing, uh, file file storage. Okay. Great. Fantastic. So it looks amazing. It's a great little product. Like Ivan mentioned, it's portable. You can carry it with you. Um, it's everything you need in an ass. You can play music directly from it. You can utilize the audio inputs as well. Um, it's got a built-in switch, so really nice. You don't have to carry around a switch. Uh, for a lot of people, you know, like us that travel a lot, this is great. I don't have to carry my switch anymore or my router. Uh, this is built in here. Um, again, you got your uplink, your, your router, and your audio, um, everything built in. Connect my monitor directly to it. I can stream my, my movies. I can use it as a PC, and I can use it as well for um, some of my Linux applications as well. So um, this is fantastic, Ivan. Well, thank you very much. Uh, for talking today about our new product here, the uh, the new QNAP NAS book, as you can see here. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us. Our information is listed below or visit us at QNAP.com. Thank you very much.